And for more on the report that uh, the U.S. Senate is delaying sales of arms to Nigeria, uh, let's now talk to public affairs analyst Francis Shonubi. He joins us via Zoom in Lagos. Good to have you join us. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure. All right. So um, one, one minute the president is, is asking AFRICOM to, to relocate to Nigeria, which is African Command, U.S. African Command from Germany. Um, on the other hand, the U.S. is now delaying the sale of arms to Nigeria to fight insecurity just after we have asked for help. So talk, how do you read all of this? Uh, actually, based on what uh, this is, you know, it's a, I would call it is common sense to know to the whole world that Nigeria is battling with uh, human rights abuse. And the U.S. Uh, parliament or uh, policymaker, we want to balance the human rights abuse that is currently going on in Nigeria, where human rights agitators are being and the bandits are being free, uh, freedom to move or amnesty. So based on that, I believe it's a process that is ongoing. The delay is a direct reflection of what we face on day-to-day -day, uh, insecurity in Nigeria. And for them to now approve, they have to go through, see how they can marry the objective of human rights abuses and human rights activity in Nigeria. So that is what I call due process. It's not that totally block, but they're delaying it based on report because the committee is trying to do a kind of uh, evaluation on our human rights activity. The abuse is there. Human rights activists are being clamped down. They are not. They are being shut down. Whereas those in the northern side are being given free head and they give amnesty. So based on this, I think the American policymaker are trying to see how they can balance those two before they can approve or pass the law on the demand from Nigeria. As you said, in the other hand, the UK, yes, our president is in the United Kingdom, and now, as we say, so there'll be a kind of, well, you know, we have a kind of a strong tie with the United Kingdom. That can be take, taken care of. But Nigeria, you know, America, their democracy is more complex, and you have to go through a, 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 I call it a process. And that process has to be looked at kind of human rights abuse. Thank you so much for talking to us, Public Affairs Analyst Francis Shunobi. Thank you.